Today we're going to do a basic tutorial on lower body plyometric exercises. We get a lot of comments about vertical leap, um, improving your vert, uh, as well as just becoming more explosive, more reactive from a jumping standpoint. So today we're going to go through a couple basic lower body plyometric exercises that we do here at CalSpring. The first exercise we're going to talk about today is a basic dumbbell box jump. What we're going to try and do is obviously create power from the ground um, without pulling up on the arms at all. So we don't want to de-weight the legs, we want all the weight to be focused uh, on the legs. So we're just going to keep a nice vertical posture. Anytime we jump, we want to make sure that we've got a nice tight core, particularly that transverse abdominis stays very tight. He's going to dip and drive, land onto the box with almost straight legs if he can. Step off the box, nice relaxed arms. Bring those heels all the way up onto the box to complete the movement. So this is an example of uh, concentric plyometric exercises. The, the loading here, we're using dumbbells. You can also use uh, vest, obviously, and you can also increase the uh, stress by increasing the height of the box. So a couple different ways to, to make it more challenging. Second exercise we'll talk about today is a seated box jump. So the same thing is any kind of standing box jump, only we're, we're just using um, a different position. It makes it a little more intimidating for the athlete, number one. Number two, we have to go from static start position. So what Scott's gonna do is just drive his heels down into the ground and explode the hips straight up, try and land on straight legs onto the box. And then walk off. So, important to engage glutes, hamstrings, really develop that power from the ground um, over a very short amount of time. Very concentric. Uh, again, you could increase resistance here by adding a weight vest or by just increasing the height of the box. This exercise is going to be more of an eccentric plyo, so real uh, traditional shock type training, you know, going back to Verkashansky or any of the real uh, early plyometric exercises. We're, we're working on getting a, a nice eccentric load onto the lower body by just walking off the box and landing. So most important component here is the landing phase. So when we start to transition into more reactive type plyometric exercises, the amortization phase, the point where we're collecting from the ground and, and transitioning into a direction change is going to be shortened if you're in an ideal position. So one of the things that we really want to stress here as you walk off the ground, if we're landing on flat feet, so knee angle is going to mirror the angle that's formed from the hip. So whatever de degree those shoulders come forward, those knees are also coming forward, and that's the same degree that they're also coming down. So a nice, good, solid catch, uh, landing position with a, with a good, solid base and a nice catch core. So a little more sophisticated variation of a depth jump shock training would be kind of a, uh, a box ladder or um, a box gauntlet here where we're landing in that good position and then driving up out of it into, uh, into a concentric plyo. So the amortization or coupling time here is going to be artificially delayed. So he's going to maintain that good position and then from a static start, boom, explode up out of it. And then as we start to improve, we can, we can shorten the coupling time or shorten the amortization time. So the whole exercise becomes a little more reactive. Today we did a lot of work with concentric plyos um, for the most part. So really emphasizing starting strength. So your ability to increase that rate of force production uh, from a static position. So things like dumbbell box jumps, seated box jumps, things that don't require a lot of amortization phase um, or um, force absorption are really good beginning plyometric type exercises where you don't have to have massive amounts of relative strength to get them done. So 
next video, I want to talk a little bit more about reactive type movements, a little bit more eccentric type plyometrics, and uh, carry on to the next phase. Thanks for watching. Another variation would be uh, on a BOSU ball. So coming down to do a push-up on a BOSU ball, exploding up off of it, bring the ball to your chest.